13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, there's a reason why I did that. <laughs> but <laughs> it's so later when I'm watching the replay, I can find out how, because there's always a delay when I, from when I go live to when it cuts, the video cuts in, right? <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I'm doing pretty good myself. I'm looking forward to the weekend, boys. I'm tired, man. I need a day off. I need a break. Um, we've been going hard in this job. Almost done it. Um, I know I showed you guys what the what the upstairs looked like, um, but when the, like when it was drywalled with all the blown boxes and like the crappy drywall and this and that. Well, guys, oh my goodness, man. Holy, flip this around. You would not, hi, mama, how are you? How's my mama? Hey, Dibs, what's happening? So since mom's here, I'm gonna show you, check out the scaffolding we've been working on. Hey, Cruiser, what's up, man? Yeah, download the, the, the mistakes to the taper. <laughs> right on. How's it going, Cruiser, man? How's the West Coast? Yeah, so anyways, look at that, another baker up there, okay? Oh my goodness, and that's the stairwell, right? I don't know if you guys can see down there or not, but that's the stairwell, right? Baker City, guys. Baker City. How's my lovely mama doing? Yeah, good to see you. Man, oh man. Hey, uh, David, how's it going, man? Yeah, it all depends uh, where you are and what you do. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, but if you... Uh, if you guys want, I got a new email now. It's chris at constructioncronies.com. Okay, chris at constructioncronies.com. You can send me an email there, okay? And we can talk about that. You're getting snowed in, eh? Aw. <laughs> Somebody was dissing the scaffolding? Oh, on, on my, um, on my, uh, on my, um, uh, on my community post, I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, check this out underneath, right? So here it is. Um, we got this built up on this beam here. Um, and it's funny, like it, it goes where it goes, guys. Like, you see, we're up up there. And uh, we got the baker. I, I probably would have had them uh, add another section now that, um, uh, and gone up higher, but uh, these three planks will drop down and we'll finish the bottom here. But uh, everything down here is looking great. <clears throat> so um, this is, I drywalled all of this down here. Okay, guys? And you can see it's beautiful. Like, look at beautiful. Right? All the way around is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. See all the mud? It's complete. This is, this is complete down here. Okay? It is beautiful down here. Right? Everything is so nice and tight down here. Beautiful. The taping is easy when the drywall is good. You know, um, yeah, all complete, the bathroom. Oh, I just have to, might have to hit these. Yeah, I gotta hit these patches again, but well, that's okay. Um, but dude, so cool. What, I don't know what the, I wonder what the person said about the scaffolding on the community post, I'll have to see you later. Yeah, right? Oh yeah, David, you bet, man. Yeah, just send me an email, my man. You bet. There's uh, there's there's lots of stuff going on out here, so lots of jobs. Um, so yeah, dudes, definitely just send me an email. Uh, under the stairs is all good and done. Um, I taped everything back there, and I did all of the like all of the joints here. Another dude did the up part, which is nice. While I I helped, I was able to go and drywall. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. Yeah, so we're up there, uh, up the, up there is where we are. And the wood that I have across, that's not to step on or anything like that. That's just so I don't drop anything down, basically. You know, it's just for a little extra safety. Um, but yeah, dude, so we're getting their, getting their tape. Um, the drywall and the stairwell is, like I said, I just have the bottom part to do, but all the high stuff got done today. Uh, we're taped up to about here. So I'll finish taping it and start coating it tomorrow. Um, but man, like guys, like they, they started staggering all their butt joints and uh, I made them take the drywall off here because they, were, they had another joint about to happen at the top there. But look at all the mud compared to what you saw downstairs though. 
Hey, like, look at this, man. And the guy's still not done. Like, here, even, it's going to have to be built out. I can still see a hump. This whole room's exposed. But, yeah, so this is, so far, like, there's been 20, so more than 20 boxes of mud. Um, they'll, but there'll be 30 boxes of mud used on the top alone by the time it's done. It's this crazy. It's just crazy. Like, this joint here, like, the drywall wasn't level. Uh, even, you know, and it's because they didn't, um, they don't screw in the right side of the stud first. Okay. They screw in the, the hard side, uh, first, and then it, it twists the stud. So the joints, all the joints up here were all like beveled out, like, you know, like are, are twisted out, you know, and every single box, every single box was blown. Right. So I had to go and, and pre-fill, confill everything. And now he's got the tape on it. Right every box dudes and it's just insane every single one <laughs> right it's crazy town so yeah dudes we just gotta be be cautious like all this stuff can be fixed if you just like you just gotta take like take a minute to think about things you know and just do it right um it's it's too bad like there's just so much stuff like I don't know how that all got mudded there. Look at all the mud there. Like, holy cow, man. Just uh, joints and crazy, like other, like blown boxes, every one, <laughs> right? So, um, but yeah, it's looking good though. Uh, this taper is amazing. These, the, I should say these two tapers that are here, Ben and Benji are awesome guys, really good tapers. Um, and they've been like, yeah, they've been watching me tape and, um, it's like, it's been cool because, uh, they, you know, like, they're like, oh yeah, it looks great. You're doing good. And, um, like, uh, and it's encouraging, <laughs> you know, I've been, uh, I, I've been taping, a, um, I don't know, this is like six or seven job number six or seven. So, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I like this. I like doing the framing drywall and taping, uh, and it, everything's mint along the way. Right. So I do mint framing for my drywall and so then I make my drywall mint so the taping's easy and it's nice it's when I have to tape other people's work that's when it's like oh I don't know man <laughs> I don't like taping other people's drywall <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know I might have to make it a rule to that I, if I don't get the whole wall I don't want it I want the whole wall not parts of the wall I want the whole wall <laughs> you know right from layout to framing and drywall you know so I hope everyone's doing well. Um, the studio is drying out. Yep. We got more snow. More snow. And uh, it's been cold. So um, I don't think it's going to be too bad. But because it wasn't a whole lot of snow. But we did get, uh, we did get some more. Um, but I got, like I said, all the equipment is still out. Um, of the, um, out of the studio and in the basement. So I'm just gonna, I'm just like hanging tough until, uh, I, I get like, it does all dry up. Oh, he didn't have to fire tape up there. We don't have to tape up there. Oh, we only have to tape, uh, uh, it's not fire rated. It's just a sound baffle. Uh, so too late now, but let me make sure he knows that for here. Okay. Oh, it just have to fire tape the back wall, but I can do that. But yeah, it's looking pretty good, guys. Um, I wanted to jump on and and see and see how everyone's doing. I haven't I haven't been live since Sunday. Um, it's just been a really crazy week trying to get everything um, uh, everything all these jobs finished. And so that I do have some framing coming up. So um, I, I know there's some questions with layout guys and stuff. So I do have some framing coming up next week um, and new job starting. So that's awesome. Uh, uh, there's a, oh, like 400 feet of wall to build. Uh, that's where lab has been all week. Tasteless humor. You've been warned. Who did this work? Central America's fi finest. <laughs> I think he thought the planks were on the on the only on the opposing wall, right? Yeah. Oh, and me again, Dave. Thank you for the super chat the other day. I um I I, I saw it at the end there. And I'm like, oh man! And then I I went back to the replay to see who sent it, and so thank you for for that the other day. Okay, good stuff. I'm glad to see you, man. <laughs> and good thing I'm glad I remembered. <laughs> so cool. But um, yeah, like it's such a difference. Um, I can't believe this guy's been up there for four days, uh, doing like dry, uh, mudding these tops, and he's still not done. It's all it's crazy. I just I I've just never seen such a thing. I've never seen this before. Uh, 
Uh, me again, this much mud, I, I'm, I haven't seen it this awful. Yeah, so a question, as you know, I have, um, I have had some leaks and some of the drywall on the ceiling is soft. I don't really want to cut a hole in it, fix as there is a light fixture. Would a filler work to stabilize? Okay, so here's the problem with that. Um, you could use um, like a quick set, okay? There's, a, there's I think uh, in your air, neck of the woods, it'd be like a, like a 15 minute set or a 30 minute. But the problem with that is once drywall is exposed to water for 48 hours, there's 100% going to be black mold, okay? And it needs to be remediated. So um, it's your choice. I'm just telling you what, like, what, so say we run into that, okay? Um, if if uh, drywall has been exposed to water for 48 hours, there will be black mold. And you, you, want, to, uh, you want to remediate that. Right, so that means taking the drywall down. You got to get it all dry, um, and you have to. There's like special spray if if it's wood joists are molded and stuff too. Okay, there's a special spray you got to spray and stuff, and uh, it's quite a it's quite a process. Okay, but um, if you're like, I would cement it in as hard as I could. I guess if I if like you know if you seal it, so like none of that mold uh, comes out out of it anyway um then then yeah like just be careful with that you know what i mean so but yeah i get a quick set like con fill concrete fill okay would work um or like yeah like i was saying a 15 or a 30 minute set and you're good to go so yeah boys yeah <laughs> so yeah this scaffolding has been fun man oh my god Ugh. Oh, so I'm glad I got that all done. Uh, all the high stuff is done. Well, I, I just got to coat it. Kills, yeah, that's that's the thing. Kills, that's what it is. Yeah, you, you hey, hey, Sergeant Joe Smith, man. Kills, <clears throat> That that's right, yeah, kills is a, is a is a product you can use for sure sammy man what's happening dude how are you buddy good to see you man so good to see you dudes nice man sergeant joe smith right on dudes um so yeah and drywalling into a truss like this is like such a pain and taping it is like you know just as fun right like wow so many joints, man. So many joints. Um, but yeah, then yeah. So yeah, you could tell even I drywalled um, this side, <laughs> right? And um, I did some tops. I did all the hard tops over there. Um, but yeah, I didn't do any of this drywall. I wouldn't have had the butt joint stagger. It would have been all the same level. It's so weird. It's like they have one low, one high, two low, one high. <laughs> it's so weird, eh? Oh, that's good. I got to see another video from this guy. Right on. <laughs> How's Sammy doing, man? And, yeah, anyone I got a shout out today, Sergeant? <laughs> Who do I got a shout out today? Anyone's birthday? <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude, I would totally, man. I would totally come and do that. Ugh. <laughs> ow, ow, oh, fuck. Oh, shoot, ow. <laughs> Shit. Oh, don't die yet. Yeah, I get some work done, you slacker. Hey, Tom, how's it going, brother? Oh, I see. Uh, it's a double ceiling. So like, um, like, does it have a Mike Hunt? All right. Happy birthday, Mike Hunt. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I hope Mike Hunt has a great birthday. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That is so cool. So yeah, dude, it's a lot of mud up there. It's like this whole joint down the middle didn't have to be there. 
Okay, like you could have drawn one piece all the way up, man. It didn't have to be there. It's so ridiculous. And he did it all the way around. Do you see that? And above the window, there, there's no reason to have that middle joint. No reason at all. <laughs> Anita Dix, all right. Happy birthday, uh, Anita Dix. <laughs> Mike, got, Mike got beat up. He's all bloody. Oh, no. What? Oh, man. Dudes, there was like some crazy stuff going on yesterday here, too. Um, like uh, one of the like one of the like the young guy, he kicked a piece of piece of garbage, which he shouldn't have done. And uh, he hit a guy, another guy with it. And the other guy most definitely overreacted and just went freaking ballistic. <laughs> Oh man, I just like guys. You guys got to keep your tempers calm. You know, it's not. We don't. We don't. Uh, it's bad. It looks bad for the clients. Like the. Like the freaking. Like the. You know, other trades were here too. Like. I don't know, man. It's just not very professional. Liberals, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, there was a bad bad ceiling battens were put on another ceiling put on that. Oh, weird. Okay. <laughs> That's Oh my god, super chat. Thank you very much. Who who did that? Dave, right on. That's awesome. With work like that, you need a cheap side. Right on, dude. I know you're so <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much, man. That's so cool. Oh, man. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't, uh, I, I just, yeah, like guys, man, oh man, I can't tell you enough, like just the tiny things, guys, the tiny things will go a long way, um, you know, and save the taping and the amount of money wasted in material and, um, uh, and um, uh, time, okay, paying these guys by the hour to tape all this. It's like, wow, man. Yeah, don't super chat or Trudeau will take it. <laughs> yeah, buddy, that's so funny, dude. Oh, my God. Um, I'm so freaking glad I didn't um, donate to the, to the second one, though. Like, after um, the GoFundMe was taken down, I vowed never, ever will I ever uh, donate money to a third party again. And sure enough, look what happened. It got hacked. <laughs> it's Dave's cousin's birthday. His name is Alcoholic. Right on. Yeah. Happy birthday, Alcoholic. <laughs> oh, shit. I love it. That's so funny. And the garbage, guys. So this garbage pile was as high as this bulkhead yesterday. Okay. So think about that. So the wasted sheets, like, man. Yeah, Trudeau has to get, yeah, I am so happy that YouTube has been fair in treating, uh, treating like free, the freedom of speech thing well. Like they have not been censoring the, the protests because the protests are 100% peaceful and they're not causing trouble. It's just unbelievable the, the government's pushback on it. It's like, wow, we are, do not live in a dem democracy anymore. Like this guy is a tyrant. Man. No, man, the guy's a freaking moron. Like, they're, they're the, it's the, probably the most peaceful protest ever in history, and he's treating it like, you know, like the guy, and he, and he supports the rioting of, like, BLM and stuff like that, right? Like, he supports all the, that, that stuff. And he, he, we had some crazy people, they burned down, like, 10 Catholic churches last year, and he said, well, we sympathize with you because of what's been going on, um, but, you know, this and that or whatever. And and like, oh my God, the guy is such a fucktard. <laughs> he's just so crazy, man. He just doesn't like anyone opposing him. He is a, he's a dictator. Um, but yeah, so it looks pretty good. And um, I'm so glad like these guys were here because like, oh my God, dudes, I don't know. Like I would have lost my shit up there. And these guys are Filipino tapers. So they're nice and calm and you know, they just... You know, he was complaining about the bad drywall, but it's like, you know, hey, they're hurting his feelings. Yeah, right on. XP bottle, right? <laughs> I do have mud on my head. I know, I need to wear gloves, man. I need to wear gloves. We were just talking about that, actually. 
Thanks so much, Tom. I, I will buy myself a beer for sure, dudes. You can guarantee it. I'll be buying myself one up. On my way home from work, I'll pick up a sixer. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know. Like, that's the thing. Like, it's crazy the way that it's all gone. Like, man, like, they're just, they're awful people. They're awful people. They're, they're using bureaucracy to steal power and money. That's it. That's it. And they're doing it while smiling at you. You know, it's fucking, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I, like, the, his behavior in the House of Commons and, and in front of the news is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. I'll put money on, yeah, I know, right? Like, all right, I, I just get covered. I just get covered in it. Yeah, so we give we give um we give like sixty million dollars or no or is it six? We give a lot of money to uh, to China, a lot of money. And Trudeau's destroyed our economy. Hey, eh? the inflation isn't cra crazy. He's destroyed our entire economy. He's a, he's a freaking he's such a loser. Yeah, 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 right? So transits to, I don't understand, seven to transits companies or? Ransom 45, nice. $4 for bus fare now, eh? The, oh my God, the TTC is four bucks now? Holy cow, I remember when it was a buck, a buck 50 or whatever it was. The central bank, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I just can't even think about it, like where our tax money goes. It's just crazy, man. Like, it's awful, dudes. Yeah, right? That's funny. It is rough, dudes. I don't even know. Like, it's so sad and depressing. Like, we, I, we've, it's just like, man, like, they're taking away our voices and our right to protest, man. So we're uh, it's a buck eighty a liter in um, in in um, uh, BC. It's a buck uh, it's a buck forty five a liter here, and I think it's a buck sixty five a liter in Ontario, um, which is uh, it's like six bucks a gallon or something like that, right? Is that three liters or three point three liters in a gallon or something like that? Uh, it's crazy. What's a liter? Yeah, I don't. I know, eh? So um, I don't know how many how many liters are in a gallon, guys. I think it's like three three point three or something like that. The average house the average house in Canada cost eight hundred and eight hundred and um, um, fifty or no eight hundred and thirty six thousand dollars is the average house now in Canada. That is insane, dude. So it's five fifty a gallon. Yeah. Yeah, and it went up 35,000 in just the last month. That's right. That's right. So that was my wife calling. So 3.57 to the US gallon. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. So yeah, so that what do you what do you pay per gallon in the states right now then, Tom? Cuz yeah, so it would be 550 a gallon our prices. And it's crazy because we actually have gas here. We make gas so, and it's like, man, we actually ship the gas from here to the States to get refined and then back here. And we pay taxes both ways or something like that. It's, it's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, we don't refine it. That's right. So three bucks. So yeah, we're, we're paying double the amount of, for gas, right? So it's just crazy, guys. But um, I gotta go. I'm gonna go. That was my wife calling. She probably needs needs me to 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 do something. I don't know. Oh shit! I forgot. The kids have swimming lessons. Um, I gotta go. I I have to run, guys. Um, I totally forgot about the swimming lessons. But I think I'm still good. It's not four yet. Yeah. Right. No. No. Yeah. No baby sets. No more. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> I promise I'll go live again really, really, really soon. Okay, guys. Thank you for the super chats, guys. And, and you know what? It's just, I'm, I love seeing you guys, man. Um, if you guys have any questions about the drywalling and stuff or anything, make sure you leave them down below. 
okay, in the comments, I'll get back to you. She needs dicks, <laughs> yeah, brother. Right for now, guys, be safe out there, okay? Thank you for coming, but it's right on, dudes. <laughs> get the cheap beer. I will, <laughs> peace, dude. Nice. And then dibs, too, we can talk more on, yeah, on Discord and stuff. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs>